if brothers don't make it to teaching the word, okay, if brothers don't make it to teaching the word, do we lose the kingdom? No, 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 no. Um, well, let, let me, I say no, but let me say it like this. Let me say it like this. If you teach, it's not just you teaching on the street. It's you teach more. Where's the first place we teach, brothers? At home. But before you teach at home, what do you teach? Yourself. Right? So I'm, I'm answering this on all those phases, right? So you teach yourself. You teach your house. You come learn how to teach, and you teach the people. Right? Feed the sheep. Right? That's how they go in, in that order. All right? That in that order. That's how that goes. Right? But as long as you are um, working and teaching, um, you that's what the Lord asked us to fulfill. Give me that in Matthews where he says you will not have uh, gone to all the cities. Matthew 6? Is it 6? Yeah. I think it's 6. Matthew 6. So the Lord tells us we're not going to be able to teach everybody, everybody in the earth before the Lord, uh, before the return of the Messiah. So I'm just using the scripture to substantiate. No, you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to die if you don't, if you never teach. Now, if you've, if you're given the opportunity to teach or ascertain mastery enough to, to teach and you're just not, then you would be one of those who are willingly ignorant. That, that would be you, right? Um, but let's read that. You find it? The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 23. But when they persecute you in this city, right. flee ye into another. Mm -hmm. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Right. So what it's saying is, what it's saying is, everybody will not have been taught. So what does that mean? How, how will those be able to teach? They won't. They won't. So I don't, I can't, I don't have the authority over Christ, over the Most High to say, yeah, you're going to hell if you don't, if you never teach. I'm not saying that. I don't know. But these are the variables that we're going over. You know, if you've been given the opportunity to, you better take the opportunity and you better teach, you better feed. Do, would it, go to, um. Uh no. Uh love is thou yeah, that's what you just said. Bro, I translated what you said. I didn't hear you. <laughs> I translated it. Uh feed my sheep. Yep. Uh, I got it. Go ahead. The book of John, chapter twenty one. Start at 15. In verse 15. Yeah. Is that is that what I want? 15? Yes, sir. I know I'm crazy. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, uh -huh. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me yeah. more than these? Uh -huh. He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Mm -hmm. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He say, Feed my lambs. You love me, yeah? More than these disciples, right? I Meaning you love the Lord more than man. You love me. Right? He said, he say, yeah, of course, Lord, you know I love you. What's, what type of question is that? He said, okay, yeah, feed my lambs. Go ahead. He said to him again the second time, mm -hmm. Simon, son of Jodas, lovest thou me? Mm -hmm. He saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said again, yeah, you know I love you. He said unto him, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep then. Feed my sheep. Read. He saith unto him the third time, uh -huh. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Mm -hmm. Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Mm -hmm. Thou knowest that I love thee. Man, what are you saying? Lord, you would know if I'm lying to you. You know I love you. So as far as he was able to understand in his spirit, yeah, I love you. So Christ said what? Thou knowest... Jesus said unto him, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep then. You really believe you love me, huh? 
if you believe that you love me, you're going to feed my sheep. You're going to feed my sheep. So as it pertains to the question, is it, was that it on that? Mm-hmm. So as it pertains to the question and what I, what I stated regarding if you've been given the opportunity to teach or feed the sheep as we're commanded to do, right? Jeremiah 1 and 5, right, down through <coughs> really the entire chapter. Let me get a walk. Is this one unopened? It says, feed my sheep, right? Mm-hmm. So if you've been given the opportunity to, to teach, right, to, to, to ascertain or to gain the ability to, to teach, right, to build yourself up in the mastery of teaching it to the level that you can go out on the streets, to the level that even you can deal with your family members and, and, and what have you, right? Get, get that in um, Matthew 10. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go to visiting. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. So, so what are we talking about here? Typically we say what? Right. That's typically what we say, and that's not wrong. That's right. That's the, that's the carnal tense of it or the carnal context, right? But the spiritual would be what? Right. So how you going to go out there, and a lot of us is guilty of this, right? <coughs> how you going to go out there on the streets and tell somebody, tell somebody, feed the sheep, right? How you going to go out there on the streets and feed the sheep, but at home, you tired of their ass. You done with them. You don't really believe. You don't really believe. If you believed, you would understand, yo, look, they, all, these ones that I love, they going to die. They're gonna die. You're gonna sit there and let somebody come up in the house and just just shoot all of them in the face. But you would let them just just you believe, right? So you would just let them all you because Christ Christ killing them is gonna be far worse than a gunshot to the face. Somebody stomping them out. Anything you can imagine on this earth, what Christ is going to do to the unbelievers is going to be far worse. Right? How is it possible that you believe that? That you believe in what's coming, that you believe what we have to do, but you ain't going to teach them. But you out on the streets teaching. Infidel means what? Non-believer. It says you're worse than an infidel because you, you have this wisdom. You don't got Islam. You don't got Christianity. You have this, and you don't believe it. You're not providing, you're not providing food to the sheep that God gave you right at home. That came from out your loins, that 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 you uh, uh, nursed uh, for the sisters, that you wiped they behind when they pooped and they diaper, what have you. You 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 fed them, you know, but you ain't gonna teach them. You done with them. That's why he says, for any that provided not for his own, is worse than an infidel. Cause we out on them streets, <laughs> we putting the videos out. You ain't teaching it at home though. No? You just done with them. All right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. is you.